keep a lot of soft knowledge to it. Keep up the good work, man. Well, well, I appreciate you saying that, and it lends itself to my next uh, topic, and that is, uh, as you guys may recall, you appoint me in two-year terms, and uh, I am uh, – Finishing up my, I think I think it to be the sixth term. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I think it's 12 years, and uh, I would humbly come before you asking for a, uh, your consideration as uh, for a reappointment for another two-year term as the municipal judge. I would make the motion that we appoint Matthew to the. Uh, I second the motion. I don't think any discussion, so everybody in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So you've got it, Matthew. I ain't got it, but I would have I definitely voted yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Jerry. <laughs> I, I think he does a real good job. Don't yeah. brag on him too much. Yeah, if you get to be I can only take so much of that, right? <laughs> I, I, do, I do appreciate the vote of confidence, and I, and I thank, thank you for you, your uh, kind words. Yes, sir. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reason I said the jury there, man. I didn't. I was hoping you wouldn't ask for a raise. <laughs> Go ahead and lock me in at the current rate, huh? <laughs> well, I'm trying to get him one. Oh. Okay, let me backtrack a little bit. I forgot. We need a we need a head count for the minutes and all. Uh, I'll call your name, either say yeah or something. Uh, Gary Randolph? Yeah. Uh, Roger Agnew? Roger Agnew? Yeah. Okay, he ain't here. I thought he was there a while ago. Well, he ain't now. He ain't answered. Uh, Bobby Blue? Present. Uh, Maneo? He's not here. Jerry again? Here. Philip Frank. Philip Frank. Philip Garrison. Here. Here. Philip's here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jerry Hess, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm a reminder the election is. Uh, the election, not the election, I'm sorry. The qualifying is tomorrow, starts tomorrow, and it's $50 to qualify. If anybody's interested in doing it, or you can tell people, they ought to know it. But it starts tomorrow and ends the 21st, am I right? Five o'clock on the 21st. Okay, uh, any questions on that? No. Okay, school tax. The all the schools of us, July the seventeenth through the nineteenth. That's when there's no tax, right? Tax holiday, yeah. Tax holiday. I'm sorry, yeah, I had it wrote down here, but I didn't say holiday. So that's July the seventeenth through the nineteenth. If anybody asks. Okay. And uh, we need to. Uh, Zane, we got a message from Zane. Most people got it today, I guess. But they're wanting to do, redo the doors at the gym. And the total price is $12,488. And Zane said the whole advisory board voted for it. And they've been there since 1969 or 70, and they probably do need it done. Uh, so we need to vote on to do that. Anybody wants to make a, a, I, like to, I would like to ask a question, man. Um, right. I'm not. I'm not saying off. I'm not bad. I'm not saying I'm against this. But when are we going to draw the line on spending money that the county should take care of? You know, I mean, we do. We are eating a lot. You know, you know, I understand the county has done well this year financially also and they can't put up doors on the gymnasium. I mean that's a vital part of the maintenance of the buildings and everything. Did you talk to anybody about that? Yeah, I've talked to them before about it. 
but this is brought from the advisory board that handles the money that they get. And they're, they're, they're the, these doors on the gym, and they're asking to do it. And they got a good bit of money in the reserve account. So I think it's just benefiting the kids to do this myself. Well, it well, is. It is, Max. But, but uh, the county should the county should do that. Uh, I mean, it's their building, and uh, they're protecting uh, their investment there by. Well, we bought we bought we bought lawn more and stuff like that, and know their their football field. That's theirs too. The whole yeah, thing is there. I, I mean, we spend a lot. Uh, but uh, has, has the county said no? I don't know. Uh, there ain't nobody to ask. I don't know where they ask the county. Well, I don't think we need to ask them. I think that was, that was my next question. Yeah, has anybody asked them to replace the doors? What's your thoughts, Bobby? Certainly, I, I you know, we certainly prefer that the county pay for those items. My understanding, though, is I was in the process of texting Zane, but my understanding in that, you know, is that they they have capital improvement projects going out two or three years, and this item is not on that capital improvement project list, and and so and it has it's been asked for many 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 times, but they've not they've not put it on the capital improvement project list. So yeah. whether or not you know, I, I think we could I, we can ask certainly, but I think in my opinion I think they're probably going to say no. I'm not saying that's the right thing. I'm just saying that's probably what they're going to do because it, it's they're functional. They're just not in good shape. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't got any problem with the doors being repaired or replaced either one, but uh, I do know that. Uh, the last um, person we had sitting on the council paved all the parking lot with monies from from the sales of timber, and the county just paved those streets behind there. District five. I don't think the, the school system paid for that, did they? For what, Jerry? You talking about, you're talking about that? You talking about that paving in front of the elementary school? No, by yeah, that and, and by the county paid for that. Uh, what I'm talking about, county, was it the county school system or was it Marion County District 5? I the Marion County school system paid for it. Okay. Hey, Matt. They, Matt. Got, they, they got a grant for it. Matt. Okay. Yeah. Hey, there's Mr. Silas at the high school here. Hey, I, I, I just want to yeah. say, uh, you know, this year... Uh, between us and elementary school, the county paid $50,000 for the paving that went on. And we're also getting air in the high school gym. And now, my understanding was on the gym doors, like Bobby said, it's been asked for many times. And, it's, you know, it's not ever been part of their uh, their plan. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. So the, the gym doors, to me, are in you know in bad shape last year i replaced two or three panes but you can go press on the glass and you know it, it the the uh the stuff that holds the glass in is not it won't stay in there in other words yeah so uh you know i know that in in times past y'all have bought doors maybe for the lunch room or something ones that had a smaller glass, these doors will have smaller glass inserts because the ones that we have now have, uh, you know, a really large glass at the top of it. And Dustin, those, those glass uh, panes also have the cross section, the little mesh in, them, in those yeah. doors, don't they? Yeah. Uh, those are, yeah, let off. Those can be very, very dangerous. If someone were to put their hands through that, that's going to completely slice their hand up. I, I, uh, I, let, I, let, I, me, let me say something on that. Uh, I think they was asked. Uh, I think Zane, he's over this advisory board, or the reserve board. And uh, I think they was asked, and they'll repair them, but they will not replace them, is my understanding. Okay. Is that your understanding, yeah. Silas? Yes. Uh, that's what that's what Zane says. Now, and I, I believe 
believe him. I believe that's probably the case. They might repair them, but them does look bad. I mean, they look terrible. And, and Sal, so thank you for filling us in there on, on the information. Yes. You just gave because we was not aware. You know, as right. council, we haven't been advised of anything. Then, like you talking about, it's gone up there. Right. The air conditioning and all that. So yeah. I guess we need to start asking questions, and maybe maybe you can keep us informed of what's sure. going on. Yeah, I'd be glad to. Uh, like I said, though, they they have uh they you know they're doing work here. We just got a new. Uh, they put a new metal roof on the old home ec building. Uh, yes. I guess that was two weeks ago. They paid for that. So um, I'm not saying they wouldn't eventually do it, but I think like Max said, they just they repair it instead of upgrading them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that, that sounds totally different than what the uh, first thought. Yeah. Okay. And, and I think typically in an in-person in, in meeting, y'all, we will, we will get to answer these, you know, ask these questions of Jane and the advisory board and, that, and, and Mr. Silas. that. I think having it over the phone like this, sometimes we don't get all, uh, certainly don't get the information that we need, but uh, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and move that we uh, take the money out of the, out of the uh, discretionary fund to go ahead and pay for these doors and get these things replaced. Well, I would second that. Uh, you're a second on it. I'll second it. Any more discussion? All in favor, say aye. Uh, uh, all opposed, say uh, Or no, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> say something if you oppose in there. <laughs> all right, I'm glad we got that done. Let's see if what else probably got in front of you. Oh, uh, uh, that's a goal. What else we got back in there? Uh, and they've got, their reserve has got some money to help them with, I'll tell you. So, yeah, about, yeah, there, I don't know where y'all at the fireworks on the night or not, but it rains right before, just like usual on 4th of July and May Fest. Both of them is rainy days, I reckon, but, <clears throat> but dear Valley built us that stage. If y'all saw it, it's really nice. It really is. And I'm trying to figure some way to store it where we want. Just leave it out in the weather all the time. Yeah. Don't count the front of it. Because it is nice. I mean, but I want to give credit to Deer Valley. All like it. I was able to do it the other night, but it rained and Ken Speaker and all got, or something got a little wet there and they had to quit. quit. But it, it's real nice. Yeah, Ken, Ken said it was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. he, he said you couldn't have beat it. No. Well, but anyhow, I just wanted y'all to know that and we'll help. That'll save us money, too, a lot. When it gets yeah. down to May Fest and 4th of July or every, any event we have, it's going to save us a lot of money. So I want to take care of it. And I'm trying to figure a way. It's taller than I thought it'd be. And uh, I'm looking at these uh, carports things that they can build something real nice for us to put it under. And... Uh, but I'm looking at that, and I, and I went down and talked to uh, Wood Perfect. And uh, anything but probably the crystal lumber, they'll let us, they'll give us some lumber if we want to build it out of lumber. And, you hey, know. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm going to pass on a suggestion that was just made to me. I don't know if he wants to take credit for it, but Judge uh, uh, LaDuke suggested maybe looking at uh, – Tom Bigby, they, they've got some storage there that they're not utilizing. And, um, I mean, would yes, it hurt to... I'm going to talk to, I'm talk to a Foshi on that. Because I don't know exactly what they got stored in there, but he'll tell me. Uh, they got they got plenty of room over there. I would I would suggest, you know, I think that's a good suggestion. I well, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah I do too, but you, you've got to have... Uh, it's got to be so tall. It's got to be probably at least 18 yeah. feet tall. And that's pretty big. Yeah. I don't know if they got a door over that tall. But I, well, I'm going to find out. We stopped and looked at it the other day. And I'm going to go get with Steve and, and see, you know, okay. if we that can. And I, and I will say, I, I will say two things. 
two things about the, this past weekend real quick, if you don't mind. Um, yeah. Friday, Friday night we had our, our race for a kind of workshop that we have every year. And we, we kept it low-key purposely, and uh, we took all the precautions we needed to for COVID, and it, it went off really without a hitch, and people kept us really safe. I want to thank the, the fire department and the police department for all their help. Uh, they they kept us safe, and we met. We never had a problem. We had a ton of, ton of uh, really great volunteers that that helped us, and and uh, we you know it just went well. And, and we didn't we didn't we did we did not ask our our uh, sponsors this year to uh, donate, but they still did in many cases. We uh, it ended up clearing over seven thousand dollars for kind of workshops. So that's that's going to help with the surplus that we already had in there. That's going to really help for this year. Uh, so I want to tell you guys I appreciated the, the the use of our police department to help keep us safe. And then the second thing was for the fireworks, uh, Heather and I and, and Ava went and uh, walked around a little bit and noticed that, you know, everybody seemed to be really staying with their own groups. And I, I did not see any issues with people clustering together. I thought it was really safe, and I thought it went off really well. Uh, it was a little slow, people coming in there, but when – they figured out the rain was going to hold off for the fireworks. They, they piled in there pretty quickly. Thank you, Bob. Okay, let's see if we got anything else. Yeah, uh, one, my, more th- one more thing. Okay. Uh, the land that we talked about last meeting, selling somebody to put storage buildings on behind a shop. It surely used to be her shop down there. We got 80 by 200 feet. And uh, Kevin McDaniel was the one to buy it, put in a detail shop, put a building on it, and put a detail shop in. Y'all want to sell it for that? So, what happened with it? The, what happened with the storage buildings? Well, they voted not to sell it for storage buildings. Or they said not to. Okay. I thought it was a pretty good us, idea, but people ain't beating the door. Let us think about it uh, until okay. the next meeting. Yeah, y'all think about it in the next meeting, Will. I mean, I think it's beating us, and I don't know about Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Jerry Hester. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, since I brought that up, I just got to thinking we turned the, somebody down. Say we didn't want to sell it to him for that. Is that legal? Yeah, it's your land. You. Well, I mean, now we now we can turn around and sell it to somebody else. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, you, you know, as long as you sell it fair market value. I mean, you're you're entitled to choose what goes there. Cause yeah, I thought I, was, I, was, I just want to make sure on that. So I don't get no trouble on that. I mean, I wouldn't give it. I wouldn't give it to him or anything. No. Uh, <laughs> I think he's going to, going to have a bunch of cars parked around it. Uh, I wouldn't think so on the detail shop. I wouldn't think so. But now I, I can ask him to find that out. We'll hold it off to the next meeting and see. Yeah. And I, I would also ask uh, that we ask him for a business plan around it as well because... <laughs> And you know, we'd like to know specifically what he's wanting to what he's wanting to build there, and and what his plans are, and okay. storage of those ve- storage of the vehicles, and those kinds of things. I think is important because he does have a lot of vehicles out there right now. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing, guys. I mean, we look at some that's taxable income. You're only looking at labor that would that's provide no income for the city. We need taxable income out of it. That piece of property. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, but we need to get some things going if we can, too, I think. Now, I don't know. But it's just, we'll oh. just think about it the next meeting and then we'll talk about it then. On, on the bill, on the thing, uh, uh, we have a perfect place to store that thing inside. I think a wrecker would be able to move it. I, the backhoe deal, uh, my uh, my uh, understanding today, saw that little problem getting back to Jim because of wires. 
but with a record, that thing could be parked inside the fire department up at the Holiday Inn on the Texas Two Escort vehicle to get it up there. It takes something to get it up that hill, I figure. But I don't know. I don't know. There ain't nothing going on up there for sure. Yeah, if it, if they could get it up there, that'd be a good place to store it. Yeah, well, we got. It. Well, you think? Well, I don't want it tore up somewhere like that. Oh, we don't want to tear it up. That's for sure. Well, you might might uh, check with some other people and see what they think. I will. I'll some some point in time that that fire station's got to be open. Yeah. Well, I think it needs to be. I don't know how we can do it yet. I've been wondering on this for three years or four, and and it needs to be done. But it takes a lot of money to do something like that. And I just don't know, but uh, let's think about that, too, a little bit. Well, uh, uh, the road up to the Holiday Inn looks a whole lot nicer. Uh, boys done a good job of cleaning the uh, dirt and stuff up. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have to clean it again because there's going to be some more come down, I guess. Yeah. But if we, the state man called me the other day, he was up there. He still says that has nothing to do with them. But he suggested uh, uh, that whole hillside can take a lot of money to fix, I'm telling you. But we may have to put some rock in it or something. I don't know yet. Yeah. I wish we could push that whole thing down that gully gully down there. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Yeah. That's what it should have been done to start with, I guess. I don't know. But anyhow, I appreciate y'all meeting. And if anybody got any just questions they want to ask? Well, Bobby brought up something there a while ago. You know, we uh, pretty much uh, like these running and we've just been in, out in the public with opening up the police stores and our. our uh, we are shoulder to shoulder opening up new businesses, so I feel like I would like to make the motion that we start meeting in a house again. I believe when you get right down to it, that's my call, but I don't know. Well, but I got a proclamation from the Secretary of State, and they and the governor is extending this thing to September the 9th, and she's recommended that people. Uh, Nonprofit organizations and the government's people meet on the telephone is what she's recommending. I, mean, I can give you a copy of this if you want it, but, but uh, I don't, I mean, I don't see the, I, I mean, I, we can get just about as much done here. Unless we got something short sure enough big, we'll, we'll meet somewhere. We met twice outside, and this was just after both times. I don't know where it's called. The traffic was so bad, it got everybody shook up for a while. But, you know, but this thing is not over. But I know we shot the fireworks, and like Bobby said, we kind of talked to people around and coming in and all, and passed them to. They clear of each other and all that, but uh, we had a lot of people working too, trying to get it to be successful. And if it hadn't been, well, the rain is still successful, but it would have been if the rain. I said we had pretty good going, but anyhow, I don't know. Just, uh, we'll think about it. And Mayor Maddox, this is uh, yep. Mr. Wellley from the elementary school, and I just want to say thank you guys for what you do, and thanks again for the, the check this time, too. That was a, a real good one. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, sure. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, okay. Kathy? Hey, Max. Are we ready? It's home, man. Yeah. This is Maneo. I come in late. Did y'all uh, talk about the doors at the gym? No, we're not going to do it. We're just going to burn the gym down. Uh, about 50 no. minutes. You probably done it last time. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com backslash 49 County News TV.